What's up guys, Gabriel Varga here. I'm back with another home workout for you. A lot of people were asking for more workouts at home because gyms are shut down. So I've got one for you today. We're gonna to be destroying the leg muscles and we're gonna do it Jade Claude Van Damme style. What does that mean? Well, if you guys have watched any Jade Claude Van Damme movies, you know his kicks are phenomenal. He's just flicking them out, bah, 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 bah. He can do jumping split kicks. Everything that he could do, I could do at one point. Now, obviously because I'm now focused on kickboxing and actually being able to kick with power, I don't focus on this anymore, so a lot of my abilities have gone way down. But I've been doing this with my kids' classes on Zoom, so I'm a little bit more up to date with it. And it's surprising how hard it is, how hard it is to do the muscles and the legs fatigue dramatically. And if you guys are a martial arts fan, you were around in the 80s or 90s, you probably loved watching this dude. To be honest, he's one of the big reasons that I got into martial arts. I know George St. Pierre said the same thing, Glory kickboxing champion, Joseph Beltellini said the same thing, and the list just goes on and on with big UFC fighters, top level uh, kickboxers who are just inspired to get into martial arts because of this guy. I mean, I would watch his movies practice techniques until I got them. I could do the jumping split kick where he jumps in the air 360, both legs out completely. I could do one heel on a chair, another heel on a chair, be in a split position with nothing touching the ground with my arms crossed. And yes, you could argue that these are not practical techniques. It's kind of like maybe Taekwondo. It's more of a sport as opposed to the ability to actually hurt somebody with those flicky kicks, but don't be fooled. They are very hard. They have their place. They help with the ability to throw kicks and control so you're not always knocking your opponents out or your, so your, your training partners out if they accidentally drop a hand and you go to clip them. And overall, it's just a good workout. So follow along with me today, guys. We've got about 20 minutes here. You're gonna feel your legs shake and burn, and I hope you enjoy the workout. So before we start blasting out kicks, guys, let's get warmed up. I wanna take one foot, I want it to be off the ground, and I'm just gonna swing it out, up and down. It's not touching the floor. We're just gonna get 10 of these in. Four, three, two, and one, other side. And you guys have noted already probably that I have a chair here. Some of the drills are gonna be done without a chair and some of them are gonna be with a chair. So grab something so you have the ability to do some balancing here. We're gonna go off to the side, we're gonna lift our leg up in a side kick position and we're just gonna swing it. We're just getting the legs warmed up, loosened up so you don't pull a muscle beforehand. Let's switch it to the other side. About 10 little swings to get the leg warmed up. Try to keep your heel as high as your toes. This is just a good stretch in general, just for the groin muscles, but it's nice to get the legs warmed up too. All right, all right. All right, let's get right into this. We're gonna start slow. I like to start slow just to let my legs get a little bit loosened up, a little warmed up. Because this is a karate style, we're not following through like we normally would. We're pointing our leg, make a line from your, from your hip, to your knee and we're very simply extending and re-chambering. So I'm gonna point off to the side here and we're gonna start with 30 leg extensions. Extend the leg, pull it all the way back, heel right to the bum, other hand high, and we wanna make sure our head doesn't fall backwards very far. We keep our head as high as possible. 30 leg kicks to get started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. And utilize your chair on the other side. And up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just keep kicking away until we hit thirty. If you guys like fighters like Wonderboy Thompson, or any of those guys who can blast kicks out, Raymond Daniels, these are the type of drills they did early on in their career. That's why their kicks are so fantastic. They did all this and then they learned how to put power into these kicks. All right, let's switch it back and we're gonna go low high without dropping, one, two. And then just keep the foot chambered. I'll just count low, high, low, high. Ready? Low, high, low, high, low, High, low, high, low, high, and quick switch. And low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high, and low, and high. 
And back over to the other side. We're gonna come up to a side kick this time. Bring my leg up and out. We're gonna hold that for 30 seconds. We wanna make sure we're feeling the burn through the hip and the glutes. So make sure you're not facing towards the direction you're kicking with your chest. You're off on a 90 degree, or yeah, 90 degree angle, all right? Let's lift the leg up in three, two, one, and go. Looking towards your foot, trying to aim for at least hip level. That's our goal to start. As we get further into this drilling, we will make the drills harder and harder. But right now we're just getting the legs warmed up. Straight up 30 second hold, halfway there. The burn is just something you want to learn to deal with. Deep breathing. And if you have to, you can drop now. If you have to in the middle, you lower, but you don't drop your leg. And up, other side. My leg is almost straight. I have the tiniest little bend in it, the tiniest. So I'm not fully, fully extended. Just like when I punch, I don't fully extend my arm. There's always the tiniest little bend, so I don't hyperextend any of the joints. 10 seconds more. So these are all the beginner drills. We'll do another one after, and then we'll start going to intermediate. And in. Switch that chair back. All right, from here, very similar. We're going to go three different heights, three second hold. We will go for a low, a medium, and a high. And we're going to go through nine rotations so we get each position three times so ready starting with low and up one two three medium one two three high one two three low one two three medium one two three high one two three low one two three medium one two, three, and high, one, two, three. And other side, starting with low and up, one, two, three, medium, one, two, three, high, one, two, three, low, one, two, three, medium, one, two, three, high, one, two, three, low, one, two, three, medium, one, two, three, and high, one, two, and three, and down. Now we've been utilizing the chair the whole time. We're gonna to go to now a sort of intermediate level where sometimes we will use the chair, but sometimes we will not use the chair. Our first drill will be simply lifting the leg and doing a double tap and dropping up double tap and dropping all right again just to loosen everything up and now we have to also engage the core flex the leg a little bit more to help our balance so we don't fall over it might be wise to have a chair nearby for you especially if you're more of a beginner so if you do start to tip you can catch yourself two kicks heel returns to the bum in between karate style double tap and one two kick kick three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we go to the other side now. Shift back. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right, intermediate drill with the chair. I want you to take control of it. Grab your knee in a round kick position, heel right to the bum, and we're gonna lift as high as we can. We're gonna pull that knee as high as it will possibly go. You can lean your, you lean your body back a little more, but make sure your head stays the highest point. All right, ready? Five second hold and go. Pull that knee back, stay balanced. Good. Drop a little bit and then extend your knee out or your leg out and hold it for five seconds. And one, two, three, four, five. Rechamber, grab your knee again and lift a little higher than last time. 
And just hold there, make sure you're feeling that split stretch through the groin. Now lower just a tad and extend again. Five second hold. And one, two, three, four, five. Last time, grab the knee, really crank it back. And this time, kick as high as you can and hold. And go. One, two, three, four, five. And down. Now, an advanced version of that drill would be without the chair. Much, much more difficult, though. All right, grab your knee, heel to the bum, and pull. Go. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. We drop our knee a tiny bit, extend out. And five second hold, four, three, two, one, and in. Crank it a little higher than before. And tiny drop, and out for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and max out your height as high as you can possibly pull the knee now. And as high as you can possibly kick for five seconds, and go. One, two, three, four, five, and down. And you should be feeling that through your glutes. That's where I feel it when I'm doing it. The fatigue is pretty extreme, especially when you kick as high as you possibly can. All right, guys, a little bit higher volume for the intermediate. We're gonna utilize the chair on and off. So we're gonna start with 10 kicks, really nice fast pace, snap, 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 10 kicks. Then we'll let go and we'll do five kicks. We'll come back to the chair. We're gonna go through three sets in total, three sets of each. So that leaves us, I believe, with 45 kicks. All right, leg up, nice and fast. Every little bit of speed you have, try to keep up with my count. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. From there, hand off, get your balance. Five kicks, a little slower. One, two, three, four, Five, take the chair again and fast. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And balance. Five, one, two, three, four, five. One more set. Ten kicks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And off. Five, one, two, three, four, five. We have to repeat the other side. All right, 10 kicks, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Balance, and five, five, four, three, two, one. Balance again with the chair, 10 fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Hand off, five, four, three, two, one. Hand back on. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hand off. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Switch it back over. All right. One more intermediate drill. We're going to lift up to a side kick position. We're going to straight up hold it and pulse our leg up and down for 30 seconds. Uh, the last 10, I want you to go hands free if you can. All right. Ready? And up and pulse that leg. Small little up down motion, maybe six inches. Should feel your heart rate a little bit, but mostly the fatigue through the glutes. Maybe the hamstrings and quads from firing out. All right, we're going to take our hand off the chair right now. Keep pulsing. 10 seconds here. And five, four, three, two, one. And get ready for the other side. Starting off with the chair and up. Little pulse up, down. If you don't feel it in your glute enough and you're feeling it more in your hip flexor, you need to turn your body over a little bit. So your chest isn't facing towards your foot like we already talked about. And hand off the chair, keep pulsing, 10 seconds. And three, two, one, and down. All right, guys, we've gone through some beginner. We've gone through some intermediate drills. Now let's hit the advanced drills so that when we finish and we go for a little walk, 
we're feeling like our legs got worked. I feel it especially in the glutes. All right, first drill with no balance, unless you absolutely need it, is a front kick, a round kick, and a side kick all in one direction. We're gonna do that three times. You can drop after you finish your side kick. So it'll look like this. We go one, turn it over, two, bring it to a side kick chamber, three, and then back down. All right, three times, ready. And front kick, round kick, side kick, quick drop. Again, front kick, round kick, side kick, quick drop. One more time, front kick, round kick, side kick, switch legs. And front kick, round kick, side kick, down, front kick, round kick, side kick. Whoop, I lost my balance there, down. And front kick, round kick, and side kick, and down. Good, all right, next one again, we're going to volume. We're gonna sizzle the legs out here. We are gonna go 10 fast kicks. On the 10th kick, we hold our leg up to a full chamber. We hold for 10 seconds, and then we do five, sorry, 10 kicks again, hold for 10 seconds. That's every time, 10 kicks, 10 seconds is one round. We're gonna do five rounds. This one fatigues the glutes up really, really hard. So do your best to keep up and don't drop. If you have to lower in height, that's preferable. If you go from here to here, that's better than just dropping. Do your best to keep it up. I'm aiming for hip level or a little bit above the whole time. Ready? 10 fast snappy kicks, hold the 10th one out. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it there. Breathe. Set number two. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Hold it. And five, four, three, two. One and 10 kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And a kicking again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's 40. And hold it out there. Almost done. Don't give up. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, last 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 second hold. Fight through the pain, keep it up there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whoo! Those glutes always get sizzled out. I always feel like the first step or two I do, it's like, oh, the right side wants to give out. Whew. All right, let's balance this out, other side. 10 kicks, ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Holding. <clears throat> Should feel a little bit of a heart rate increase, but mostly through the legs. That's the, the primary spot to focus. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Hold it steady. <sighs> Breathe deep. And set number three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Halfway there. And three seconds. Two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Hold it out. Fight through the pain. Don't give in to dropping. Only got one set left, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it, ten seconds. <sighs> Breathe deep. Almost there. Three, two, one, and drop. Whew. Again, massive sizzle. If you guys are ever finding this drill too easy, that means you're doing something wrong. If it becomes easier, let's say you're on your second, your third, your fourth time doing this, just kick higher. Challenge yourself. If I today can kick this high, next week I want to be able to kick that high. And you're always aiming higher and higher and forcing the muscle just to become more and more fatigued 
early on in the drilling at the very beginning stage you can kick higher to make it harder all right guys one last drill today sort of round out this circuit if you guys enjoy the workout if you guys want more of these sort of Jean-Claude Van Damme style kicking workouts let me know in the comments below so I know to continue making them because I have fun with these I've been doing them with my kids class like I said they seem to be enjoying it and it improves your flexibility your coordination your ability to throw kicks up and pull them and then you just have to work the power side as well so you're not just a little flicky kicker but these have their place all right this last one is about maxing out 100 percent as high as you can we will give you a break going down to leg level so we'll go from leg level leg fully extended we'll hold for five seconds we go as high as you possibly can for five seconds and we come back down that's your break, but you're not gonna to touch the floor, you're just holding it leg, knee level. We're gonna do three rounds, one, two, three, and then we'll do the other side to finish off this big workout here. All right, ready? And leg level, five, four, three, two, one, as high as you can. Five, four, three, two, one, down. Five, four, three, two, one up, five, four, three, two, one down, five, four, three, two, one up, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, quick switch, and starting low, up, five, four, three, two, one up, five, four, three, two, one down, five, four, three, two, one up, five, four, three, two, one down, five, four, three, two, one, and last one as high as you can, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, there you have it. Now, if you want a stretch to sort of supplement into this, put the two together, you do this kicking drill, you do the link up here for the stretching and a couple of the other little kicking drills that I have in this video, you put the two together, you will definitely improve the quality of your kicks, the ability to throw up to head level, to have your, lip, your hips a little bit loose and a little bit more fluid. If you can put all that together, that's gonna make for a very, very pretty fluid kick, which is what we want. So you can just bust out shots up to head level without having to really loosen up or be a little too slow because your hips not quite loose enough. And like I already said, if you guys wanna see more of these videos, you like this one, you want another one very similar to burn those glutes down, let me know in the comments below. Give the video a like. If you haven't got subscribed, make sure you do. Thanks for joining today, guys, and I'll see you back here soon for another video.